Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials. Hi, I'm Shobhan. This is the first of my new series Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials. In this series I'll teach those novices like me how to edit videos and of course the software I'm going to talk about is Corel Video Studio Pro X2. If you are using the same software and if you need help, this will be the right place for you to get help. If you are using another software, maybe you don't need these tutorials or maybe this will give you some general idea about how to edit videos. One thing I will uh, want to mention right away, I have seen many video tutorials in the YouTube and in the internet and some tutorials are on Corel Video Studio Pro X2 also. The problem is these tutorials go very fast and it is hard for a novice to pick up all those things so fast. So my tutorials will go slow and I'll give you all the time to pick up the things that you need to know and I will break it up into several parts. I will not try to cover everything in one tutorial that is impossible and that will be very very fast. So this will be about I think five six at least different parts this is only the first one. The other thing I would like to mention here I have seen video tutorials by tutor tutors with strong American accent, strong British accent and strong Australian accent. Now you will hear strong Indian accent. If that's a problem with you I cannot help it but I will talk slowly and I will try to talk clearly so anybody who understands English should be able to understand. But excuse me, you will have to hear Indian accent because I am Indian. So let's get started. Okay, when you first open the software, it looks like this. It says Corel Video Studio Pro X2. Your picture may be different, but uh, my picture is like this. I understand the company changes their picture once in a while. Uh, there are three things in this first uh, screen. One says Video Studio Editor. That is where we will concentrate. The second one is Movie Wizard. I am not interested in this. It's all automated. Uh, you can do it yourself. And the third one is DV to DVD Wizard. Again, if you want to make a DVD disc from the raw files that you have shot with your camcorder, you can use that. That is also an automated, automated process and we are not spending time on those two. <clears throat> so we will concentrate on Video Studio Editor where you can really dress up your videos. And let me tell you one more thing. You make sure this 16 is to 9 box is checked. If it is checked, then your finished product will fill the uh, complete uh, YouTube's <coughs> video player screen. When you see it on YouTube, the entire screen will be filled with your video. Otherwise, your video will be smaller in size <coughs> and YouTube will add uh, black boxes around your video. We do not want that. So, we will go to this first uh, um, item in the menu and click there to start the video studio editor. And let me tell you what is video editing really. Video editing is nothing but dressing up your videos uh, before it can be showed to public or it can be shared with your friends and family. It's kind of uh, beautifying your video, eliminating the unwanted scenes or the pictures that did not come out right. There may be camera shake, uh, there may be unwanted things that was inadvertently captured and all that. You should first of all trim or uh, or, or discard those scenes. This is possible with Video Studio Editor. And then of course to dress up your video, 
You can add titles in the front or end in the rear, maybe in between also. You can make your pictures look better. This has the capability of making your shots better, doing white balance correction and color correction and all that. And then you can apply effects like the transition effects. You can have overlay tracks so that, you know, to do things like picture in picture or PIP, that's useful. You can produce various kinds of uh, titles, very fancy looking titles, animated titles. You can add audio, <coughs> video studio, uh, Pro X2 will supply you with some audio files. Otherwise, you can import it from audio CDs, add your own audio in other words, and then you can share the video in various ways. You can share it online, you can upload it straight to YouTube, or you can make video discs, and that is DVD disc, that is, or create a video file uh, for future uploading to YouTube. And let me tell you, this is the general look of the screen when you first start but you can customize this according to your need. Uh, let me show you how to do that. You click on file then go on preferences and the in this layout tab over here see these are the four different uh, layouts that's available to you. You can click on this see this is changing you can click the second one, the layout has changed. And you click on this one, the layout has changed again. But this is the default layout which I prefer and I'll keep it just like that. How is it going so far? Is it making any sense? Are you understanding what I'm trying to teach? You are welcome to send in comments and suggestions and I shall try to uh, see that in my next tutorials whatever is deficient i'll try to make it up or i'll try try to do the necessary corrections okay thank you that's all for today i'll see you again in my next tutorial have a wonderful day